but can you speak Norwegian? No? Okay. Hello and welcome to the Doodle and Flea Knits podcast. My name is Erin. This is Isla. She will be joining us today while I talk about knitting and all my crafting adventures here on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram as the Doodle and Flea Knits and you can find me on Ravelry as the Thready Bear. Both of those are going to be linked down below. And um, it's been a little over a month since I last talked to you, so I do have a couple finished objects, um, work in progress, some changes as to um, what I'm actually knitting right now, which I mean, don't we all always change our minds and our flights of fancy? And I've actually been doing some sewing, which is why that's a mess back there, but I will get to that in a little bit. So the first thing I want to talk about today is Summer Sock Camp, hosted by Kay of um, Crazy Sock Lady Designs and YouTube channel. And I want to talk about that because it's kind of going to be the underlying theme for today's whole episode. So there are a lot of socks. Yeah, a lot of socks. <laughs> um, so Kay started Summer Sock Camp last year. It is a virtual celebration of socks you know she releases some new tutorials Ravelry threads are hopping there's a knit along going on um, and so it's just fun and last year I did not participate I more like creeped on it because I was we had just moved into our current house I was in my first trimester with this one and it, it was it was an exhausting trimester I remember falling asleep on the couch like every single day at seven o'clock at night so um, knitting mojo was nothing um, so I kind of just creeped and um, last year her tutorials were one of them was for the nine inch circulars which is really what really got me going with sock knitting so this year's tutorials are for two circular needles I think like 16 inch or something and then also um, on high high flyers um, Addy flexi flips whatever ones you want to use so I will link her video of an introduction down below so Go check it out. Join us. It's kicked off on June 1st and the camp portion goes through the end of July and the knit along on Instagram and Ravelry goes until the end of <coughs> August. Oh, no clock. You're okay. Um, so, but yes, come join us. Celebrate all the socks and, um, you know just let's have fun this summer so okay so now that I kind of mentioned that leading up to cast on day of summer sock camp I wanted to practice a couple different heels typically I do like a heel flap and gusset and I just wanted to try some other things see if the fit was a little bit different or anything like that and so the first one, well, not the first one, but one heel that I tried was Moore's Hell, which I hope I'm saying that right, um, by Inga of Knitting Traditions. Um, she's here on YouTube, also Instagram, Ravelry. Um, and she's, from what I could tell, it's the old Norwegian heel, which here's what that looks like. It'll be a little sunny today. <coughs> but it's kind of neat because the heel turn is kind of like zipped up. And let me see if I can really show you what I mean. Yeah. Okay, don't put the sock in your mouth. 
Um, so you don't do like wraps and turns. But do you see how it like zips up nice and neat? And then there's the right side. Um, so I do like the heel. I don't think I've worn them quite enough to judge like if I'll do it forever or whatever. It'll become my go-to heel. Or, um, but I think if I were to modify, I think I would lengthen this. This was like about two inches for the pattern. And I, I just don't think it's enough. I don't know if I have like large heels or something. But yeah, so I don't quite think it's enough. But it does kind of, it increases and then decreases back down. So it does give you a little bit roomier of a heel, um, in my opinion. But so what I really think, I what I like about the pattern is this was the heel that Inga's grandma taught her to knit with. So it's like her go-to heel. And I don't know, to me, that's like such a special connection to have it like with your, your grandma, like especially having that connection with knitting because I, I myself taught knitter, my grandparents, nobody knit. And even my grandma was a pretty avid crocheter for quite a while. And she she absolutely hated knitting she didn't like that they were live stitches which that, i mean that's never bothered me you know so we kind of always like little butted heads a little bit about that but you know that's that's in the past um but so it's kind of nice to have even like a secondhand connection to to family history and um you know, because I, I think being a self-taught knitter, I do feel bad that I miss out on some of, you know, the passed on techniques and, you know, information and stuff. But what are you going to do? At least I know how to knit. So I'd rather be a knitter than not a knitter, self-taught or otherwise. So that was my first finished object. Oh, the yarn. So these are my leftovers from the uh, go tell the bees is the yellow and the pink is left over from the bunny hop sock set which is coming up next and so I just stripe them um, every two rounds alternating and then heels toes and cuffs in go tell the bees um I don't know if I'll do the striping again it just seems fiddly to me I don't want to pay attention that much, you know, on just a vanilla sock. I don't, that's too much. So, but yeah, so those are Moore's Heel, Moore's Heel. I can't speak Norwegian. Um, um, finish object number one. Number two are my bunny hop socks, my Easter cast on. I think I have a little bit too much um, sun today, but oh well. So um, these are Afterthought Everything socks, which means I knit um, one giant tube in the speckled colorway, cut in halfway to add the toes, and okay. then added an Afterthought heel. So this are true Afterthought Everythings. I did not get that out of your mouth. Um, here, you want this? Um, true afterthought, everything, and no waste yarn, no markers, anything like that. I knit, um, 15 rounds on a one by one cuff, one by one ribbed cuff, and then I did 200 stitches in the tube and then just did halfway, um, is where I cut in. Which apparently the accountant can't count because these are not the same size. Which, whatever. You can't, if you're looking that closely at my, you know, my socks, go away. Um, but so, um, I'm really happy with how these turned out. And 
the for cutting into them was not as nerve wracking as I thought it was going to be. So especially cutting it in half, I was really didn't even think twice about it. But when I was going to cut in for the heels, definitely more nervous. Cause I think my thought process was I can always just rip back and then, you know, kind of just start new, you know, the beauty of live stitches all everywhere. But then when you're for the heel, you're only cutting in half the way or like half the stitches. So I didn't know she keeps trying to eat them. Um, um, you know, and so I, it wasn't going to be as easy as a fix if I mess it up and I had to get the heel placement correct, which I did 60 rounds, which I think next time I'm going to go up to 65 because they're almost perfect. So just, I, yeah, I'm going to cut in at, um, the 65th round and I think that should be good then. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out and I really like the process of afterthought everything. I think it just really works with my stage of life right now with like this one and her older sister who's always doing stuff like I don't have to worry about um you know is it time to do de start the heel is it time to um are the gusset decreases done do I need to start the toe stuff like that like I could just knit 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 and not have to worry about it um so that kind of brings me into our next uh, segment of um, works in progress. So after that, everything socks are done. Very happy with them. And I'll show you what I'm working on. So I cast this on at the start of summer sock camp. So June 1st. And okay, don't grab. Don't grab, don't grab. You know, I did this before and she was facing the back and, and that was fine because she wasn't grabbing anything. These are Summer Sock Camp 2021 sock number one. So I don't know how well these color is going to show up, but the colorway is from Woolberry Fiber Company. It is their January Collective um, colorway in Levi's in Tweed. And I am just going, I'm knitting my tube. I'm about halfway done. And um, well, this would is enough for one sock. And so um, then uh, once I get the other half done, cut in for the toes, cut in for the heels, and I'll have a finished pair of socks. I'm really happy with my progress that I have done so far. You like it? Um, and really, this might not be a lot of progress for some people. This is a lot for me. And really, it has been about consciously not scrolling or like messing around on my phone and knitting instead so like lunch break um I've been hiding in my car hiding for lack of a better term and um you know knitting listening to music enjoying some air and eating of course but you know so if I'm sitting on the couch, it's really easy to pick, just pick up a plain vanilla sock. So yeah, it's just stockinette. I did two by two rib for the cuff. And I have markers every um, 10 rounds, if you can kind of see them. They're there, they're dangling. Um, but yeah, so those are about halfway done give or take since like the heels and socks or heels and toes aren't in there but this is going to be the um collective this is going to be the afterthought heel and toe 
So I thought it looked nice with like some of the tweety bits in there. And so this is the um, Woolberry Fiber Company in the colorway Wheat. This is also a collective um, exclusive colorway, I think for May. We just finished May. So this is for May. Um, the colorway of Levi's was January, so I'm kind of like get, digging into that. And um, I, for the, the rest of Summer Sock Camp, um, after I finish the Levi's, so Sock Camp number one, I will do another sock tube in wheat. Because, I mean, obviously the heels and toes are not going to take this a full, you know, 400 yard skein. So I'll do a sock tube in this. And then I will do heel t heels and toes in this colorway. Woolberry Fiber Company. It's another collective colorway in the colorway countryside. So it is like a little speckled. And um, then I will do a sock tube in this colorway. And heels and toes will be in another Woolberry Fiber colorway. And this is their colorway 20,000. This is a celebratory skein of um, celebrating 20,000 sales. So, or, or order, something like that. And so this, if I have time, I will knit another sock tube out of this. And I don't have heels and toes for this one yet. I have an idea of our next collective colorway is like a plummy color and I think might look really nice like contrasting with this. So that might be the plan. So I'm hoping to get four um, socks through the summer. I have until the end of August, which I think with the rate I'm going with Levi's colorway, I think that is is doable um and I guess we'll have to see um because I mean I might lose some momentum and you know I might um you know just kind of get sick of socks or lose my sock knitting mojo because right now I am very much in a sock knitting mood like I just I don't think I have the brain capacity right now to do anything other than vanilla socks. And that's okay. So at least I'm, I'm knitting. Um, so, um, so yeah, those are my sock plans for summer sock camp. And I'll give you just some quick updates. I did not bring those over to show, but in case you were wondering, I... The Salil Shell, the lace tank top that I had started um, last episode, I did end up frogging it and I, I'm going to end up knitting it. And um, I just, I can't do lace right now, like I just said, not in the mindset for it. And um, I think I made a couple mistakes on it and so I didn't want to, I want to always end up with something that works and or that I I'm really happy with and so I frogged it and I think I will come back to it I don't know maybe in the winter I don't know um the wrap me up sweater scarf still working on it just add about an extra inch inch and a half I, I really haven't worked on it that much because I'm just tired of knitting and purling. But, um, so there's that. And then what I'm going to start next, just so I, I, I like, I guess I'm losing my title of monogamous knitter. Um... Well, I guess I have one pair of socks 
And I'll, I guess I'll count, I'll begrudgingly count the wrap me up sweater. But I don't take that anywhere because it's getting really large anymore. So that kind of just stays by my bed. And, um, so that's like half a work in progress. See how we justify things. But so what I'm going to start, uh, yeah. Are you not happy with me being monogamous? <laughs> you sound like a dying car. You okay? What I'm going to start next is the Honey Bop Cardigan by Poison Girls Designs. Um, if you are not familiar with Poison Girls, it is a very vintage inspired design company. Um, designer, I believe it's only one, but think, think Greece, and you got a pretty good idea of what everything looks like that she comes up with. And so the Honey Bop is just, uh, it has a little bit of puff sleeves, and then, um, you're okay. And then it just kind of tapers into the, the waist. So I am going to start that as a fade. They're all still in the bag. Um, with these colors, I'll start with this, go down the line, and then this colorway is going to be the um, neck band and button band. So it'll go up and around. Um, this, this yarn is from Sorella. It is an Oopsie Bundle. I was very fortunate to get one. So I didn't know what it was gonna look like, but I just love how like neutral with like um, little pops of pink. So I'm really happy with it. It is their classic sock base, which is 100% Superwash Merino, 438 yards each. So I think I should have plenty to um, do that card again. And I'm really excited because that has been on my, like, in my queue for quite a while. Wasn't planning on making it, but it's speaking to me. And I have to, I need a passion project. And it's just, it's plain stock in it. So I think it'll be okay as long as there's not pearling. It'll be my first cardigan. So we'll see. And it's not speaking. I know. We've never tried speaking. So we'll see how it goes. But, um, so yeah, those are <coughs> all my, <coughs> yeah, anything else you want to add? Because that's all my knitting news. So do you have anything else to add? No? You have the floor. So, um, I did mention earlier, I have been doing some sewing and I am still in the process of cutting out the fabric. So I have my pattern pieces kind of strewn about because I am not able to easily do it when um, Ainsley is up and about because she likes scissors and pins and really anything sharp. So I kind of only get a chance to do it when she's napping or um, in bed, which does not afford me very much time. So this will probably take a while, but the pattern I am doing is Simplicity R10501. Um, so it's just a very light summery dress. I'm kind of I'm doing this version mainly. Um, the sleeves have like little buttons on them and it's flowy. And I'm using a nice um, gauzy cotton. It's 100% cotton. But so there's that drape. And so we have like this kind of. Are you done? Denim colorway, and then I am going to do 
this um, contrasting section of the skirt. And that is going to be a blue stripe. I don't want to. Can you see that? That. I don't. I don't know what's all over there at the moment. And so I don't want to start an avalanche. So there's a little sneak peek of it. Um, but yeah, so that is. Are you done? So I'm working on that slowly but surely. Um, I'm still deciding. I want to just use my baby lock or if I want to try and uh, remember, relearn how to use my featherweight, which I think I want to do since I don't need a zigzag stitch. Um, I think I want to try using that featherweight. Are you done? Um, okay, so Miss Chatty Cathy is gone right now. Um... So, yeah, that's what I've been working on. So, a lot of sock knitting. I, hopefully, a cardigan uh, will be hopefully well established by the time I talk to you next month. And maybe I'll have pattern pieces cut out, <laughs> some fabric, who knows. Um, but, yeah, so what have you guys all been up to? It's summer i know where i'm at here in ohio our mask mandates are getting lifted for those who are vaccinated and you know the weather's turning so right now it's just like it's all good right now we'll see how long that lasts right but yeah i i i'm i'm happy that the mask mandates are getting lifted hopefully it doesn't cause like another wave or anything um but i i don't think i was quite ready for i mean like they didn't even ease us into this they're just like no more masks and everybody's like yep nope so i am fully vaccinated i have been for a while um and it just i don't know it kind of makes me nervous like i just i'm just not ready to see people's faces i don't know um what have you guys been watching like on netflix or hulu or whatever your poison is i've been doing um we my husband and i have we've been watching lucifer on netflix which i really enjoyed that um it was funny and I, I mean, we pretty much blew through all the seasons. So highly recommend it if you're looking for something. Um, I don't think it's very biblically, biblically accurate, but um, it might offend some people. So just as a warning. Um, yeah, so really nothing has been happening. We, I, I go to work, I come home, and the Isla's starting on solid food. Her Ainsley is, we're looking at potty training in a few weeks, and she's getting a big girl bed because she has figured out how to climb out of her crib cage. Crib, I mean crib, and um, yeah. So I mean, they're getting big, and time's flying. And you know, we're going on six months and twenty months with Isla Ainsley. So I I don't know where this whole year is going. I mean, we're we're at the halfway mark. And that just blows my mind. Like, I remember when Kay came out with the summer sock camp stuff in, I think it was in March. And she's, you know, it's like, oh, we got a couple months still. And, like, that felt like yesterday. And we are here. Summer sock camp is full swing. But, I don't know. Well, 
I guess that's all I really have to say for today. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our little chat. Let me know what you guys are working on down below. Um, and, you know, I hope you guys join Sock Camp with me. Come join the Nine Inch Circular uh, cabin and let's get chatting. So um, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and happy knitting.